Today, we learned about the largest semiconductor subsidy to date since the passage of the CHIPS Act back in the summer of 2022. This time, the government's awarding an $8.5 billion grant to Intel to support its $100 billion of investments in domestic semiconductor manufacturing and R&D, investments spread across four states, including two new foundries in Arizona and Ohio. Now that the CHIPS Act is truly kicking in, it's worth taking a closer look with the person who spearheaded the whole thing, Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo. I got a chance to speak with her yesterday. Take a look. So, Madam Secretary, tell us about your announcement. Big announcement, Jim. Uh, I'll be with the president tomorrow in Arizona. Uh, we're making an $8.5 billion grant available to Intel to expand. They'll be expanding uh, eight facilities in four states, doing leading-edge manufacturing right here in the United States. It's, it's huge. It's a huge announcement. Create tens of thousands of jobs. And most importantly, Jim, you're there at NVIDIA. You talk about AI. The United States of America is getting back into the business of leading in semiconductor manufacturing. So tell me, who will use these chips once they're made? Uh, who, whoever needs them. I mean, as you know, it takes 10, 20,000 leading edge chips to train a frontier AI model. So, you know, Microsoft, OpenAI, Google, uh, you know, uh, military equipment, auto companies. I mean, chips are everywhere. Anything digital requires chips, as you well know. And these chips will be, they're really ubiquitous now, which is why we need them to be made in the United States. Absolutely. I, I wanted to point that out because I think a lot of people feel that perhaps uh, you're, tra you're picking these companies, I don't know, more or less at random. But I bumped into an old friend of mine, Brad Koenig, who works for you. He used to head global tech for Goldman. They're telling me there's a process where you literally are talking to Amazon. You're talking to Alphabet. You're talking to Apple. You're talking to everybody all the time to find out what they need. These are not chips that are going to sit in some closet when they're done. Absolutely. Yeah, the demand for chips is growing every day. Uh, artificial intelligence is a huge consumer of chips. You know, data centers require thousands of chips. Uh, even your car, you know, Jim, uh, connected vehicles, electric vehicles, it's over a thousand chips in every car. Uh, your, your iPhone. I mean, uh, we have spent a huge amount of time with the customers, exactly all the customers you've said, plus industrial customers, plus military, plus auto. Uh, the one thing I don't worry about is chip demand. Okay. Now, I think that we all are concerned that we're an expensive place to make things. Uh, that's just known. It's cheaper in Taiwan. Uh, I, if you can just point out, would these factories, would these fabs be done without this, uh, w w without some of these supplements? Meaning that we are so expensive that, that you, typically you would not get a return on investment your first four or five years. So therefore, without commerce's help, these plants would not be made here. That's exactly right. They would be built, but they would be built in Taiwan or Malaysia or Southeast Asia. And that's why we need this program, Jim. Right now, the United States of America produces zero leading edge chips in the United States. We buy 92% from one company in Taiwan. That is not resilient. That is not safe, right? That is an overly concentrated supply chain for a critical item. And that's why it makes sense for the U.S. government to provide these subsidies so that these companies make it in America. And exactly as you said, it's more expensive here. Everything's more expensive here, higher standards. And so that's why it makes sense for the government to do this. It's a national security issue. It's not just economic security. One last question. We know that you have said that there are certain chips, particularly made by NVIDIA and made by AMD, our fastest chips, the GPUs, that you do not want the Chinese to have, and so you've held them back. Will we be making those kinds of chips here in our country, the fastest, the best, accelerated computing and generative AI? 100 percent. We have to and we will. Well, look, that's exactly what America needs, and I don't think there's really any price you can put on that, although I know you have to because you are indeed the Secretary of Commerce. Gina Raimondo, thank you so much for coming on Mad Money. Thanks, Jim.
I like to say there's always a bull market somewhere, and I promise to try to find it just for you right here on Mad Money. I'm Jim Cramer. See you tomorrow. Last call starts now.